Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to educate and I want to give y'all some knowledge and I want to inform y'all. Now, when it comes down to like religion, Christianity, you know what I mean? I know that there's like a lot of you watching this video like you grew up as a kid listening to like hip hop, but like on the radio and and also like you you listen to like the clean version now you probably like sneaked sneaked around and listened to the dirty version when you weren't supposed to but when you was around older people like your parents and stuff you listen to the clean version and, you know, I mean, there, there, there were probably even times where you probably wasn't even allowed to listen to rap music due to the fact that your parents were, like, very religious. And this is a video, yeah, th th this video right here, this is a video that goes out to the people out there that are, like, religious that say that rap music is the devil's music. I've actually did like a video, a video similar to this before, but I just want to educate and I want to inform y'all on something. If you think that rap music is the devil's music, watch this video. Is rap music the devil's music? Well, when it comes down to the agendas that a lot of these rappers be rapping about in the mainstream with the shooting, the killing, the run up on their ops, uh, gang banging, um, sipping lean, popping pills, taking Xanax, taking Percocets, doing all types of drug, doing all types of drug, that, blah, 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 doing all types of drugs, had a little bit of a tongue twister, but that right there is devilish, yeah, that right there is devilish, and you see, when they talk about the Illuminati rappers selling their soul to the devil for the money and for the fame, yeah, that right there is devilish. A lot of the stuff that these mainstream rappers rap about, it, it, it's the devil's music. It is devilish. And just like with the music video that Doja Cat had did, where she, was, where she had her body painted all in black, that right there was devilish. That right there was Satanism. So in some aspects of it, religious people are like basically correct when they say that rap music is the devil's music in some aspects of it when it comes down to like conscious rappers when it comes down to like rappers that are like conscious that keep it real that keep it outspoken that's not really like the devil's music like when it comes down to listening to an artist like tom mcdonald yeah, Tom McDonald, he keeps it real. He keeps it outspoken. I mean, Tom McDonald, his music is not the devil's music. Dak's music is not really the, the devil's music. Uh, yeah, even even like with um with Hobson, and and that's another thing too. Hobson, he made a song called "Ill Mind of Hobson Seven, where he was like questioning God. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, and, and, and Hobson is not the only person to do that. Like, not too many, not too many other artists are like willing to like go in deep into detail to write a song where they're pretty much questioning religion, questioning God, stuff like that. But yeah, and, and, and just like with Little Nas X, with, with his song, Call Me By Your Name, that music video right there is devilish. That that, that right there is devilish. And you see, there, there there's a bunch of like Satanism in mainstream hip hop. Like in the mainstream, they want these rappers to promote Satanism. They want these rappers to promote dev devilish stuff. So yeah, mainstream hip hop, the music industry in general is devilish. I mean, it, it, it don't even make a difference if it's even gospel music. It, even when it comes down to the gospel industry, the, the, the gospel industry is devilish too. There's been a few gospel artists that have talked about selling their soul for the fame. So so even when it comes down to gospel music and, 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 and even when it comes down to, um and some, you, you know, like with Christian hip hop, 
and with Christian Rock. So yeah, like when it comes down to mainstream hip hop, mainstream hip hop is the devil's music. But when it comes down to Christian rap, um, conscious rap, like listening to an artist like Immortal Technique, Immortal Technique's music is not devilish. When it comes down to an artist having like a great message in their song, that's not devilish. The song Dance with the Devil by Immortal Technique. I mean, the song Dance with the Devil by Immortal Technique. That song, it it, it is like a sensitive subject. Like, the song Dance with the Devil by Immortal Technique. That song, it has a deeper message than Tupac's song, Brenda's Got a Baby. Like, if you listen to the song Dance with the Devil by Immortal Technique, th that, that song has a way deeper message than Brenda's Got a Baby by Tupac. But when it comes down to an artist having a message in their song, that's not really devilish. I mean, and that's another thing, too. Not, not exactly every mainstream artist promotes Satanism because when you listen to Corday, if you listen to Corday's album the lost boy corday's music is is not devilish and even with his second album from a bird's eye view corday has dope messages in his song you know what i mean and 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 same thing like with um an artist like jack harlow i mean now the song that jack harlow did with little nas x i will say the music video is is a little bit like it's it's promoting like some satanism but but yeah even with jack harlow i mean jack harlow i mean his his songs are like groovy his songs is like vibey but jack harlow i wouldn't really say that his music is like the devil's music either neither is um j cole's music neither is kendrick lamar's music you know what i mean yeah, I mean, yeah, like Wale. Uh, now there are a few Drake songs that I would say does kind of like promote a little bit of Satanism. Again, th this is what the music industry wants. The music industry they want these rappers to sell their soul. They want these rappers to be affiliated with the Illuminati. They want these rappers to promote devilish stuff. They want these rappers to promote Satanism. So, yeah, in some aspects, re re like, religious people, they are right when they talk about rap music being the devil's music when it comes down to main <clears throat> to mainstream hip-hop. But, but when it comes down to underground conscious rap, even when you listen to my music, my music is not the devil's music. I mean, I cuss in my raps, but... I, there, there's a lot of songs where I always mention God. I wrote a song called God's Chosen Ones, but at the same time, I'm not a Christian rapper. Same thing if you listen to an artist like NF. NF is a Christian, but he's not a Christian rapper. NF is not like Lecrae. Lecrae is a Christian rapper. The Gospel Gangsters, they're Christian rappers. D1 is a Christian rapper. Bizzle is a Christian rapper. Yeah, but you see, NF, NF is a Christian, but he's not a Christian rapper. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all. I just wanted to wake the people up. You know, just wanted to give y'all some education and some information. Just wanted to gain, you know, like, spread some knowledge with y'all for people that say that rap music is the devil's music. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song, my new track, my new record, Best Rapper Ever. It's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.